Hi, Leo. Welcome in to a brief next 48 hour tarot reading for you. I do want to thank you so much for joining me for this reading. But as we proceed, do keep in mind it is general and it's meant to pertain to the following 48 hours for you, beginning around when you're guided or drawn to this video, not just following when I post it. But I more than appreciate the love and support as always, the likes, the comments, and of course, subscriptions to the channel if you haven't done so already. But the overall message I got for us, because if you're new, I'm a Leo Sun. Um, the best is yet to come. The best has, is yet to come. Bear with me. I feel like you're going to be messed with spiritually in the next 48 for a lot drawn to the reading. The struggle may be a bit alive. I do feel like there's um, a motivated way about you. There's a, a driven, um, they're saying character about you energy wise. Okay. Um, that was a very interesting way of putting it. But I feel like at times you might feel a bit out of it and then you'll snap back into it and you'll come up with something creative or you'll feel motivated intuitively to just do something. Spirit's saying, trust your intuition, go where you feel guided, do what you feel guided to, to do in that moment um, or at a certain point because there's a magical way about how you're creating, developing what you get done. There's an impressive way about your energy, but about what you produce, develop and accomplish in the next 48. There's a sense of you thinking about your connection to your intuition, to the universe, to the spiritual realm, uh, your connection to other people. Um, you might feel uh, they're saying a little bit absent-minded at certain points and then very uh, fast thinking at other points. But then there's moments in the next 48 where you're thinking about your lack of connection, the, a bit of silence potentially with somebody, if not multiple people at a distance or just in your life. But I feel like you have a lot going on, but things are going to get busier moving forward. I feel like I might have mentioned this in your reading previously, um, but either way, I feel like there's a very wise way about how you do what you do, whatever that is for you individually. There's a sense of you being viewed as a wise owl, somebody beyond their years, potentially an old soul, somebody who struts with confidence. Um, when you feel a bit overly serious or potentially stepping into a mood or a funk, I would say for a lot, cleanse your energy. If you don't feel that's necessary, I would watch some funny content, go into your favorite social media app or whatever the case may be. Maybe watch, um, look at some old memories that are funny um, of you being just saying a goofball. Um, just find a way to lighten things up energy wise because that's truly important. Protecting your energy, making sure you're staying in a high vibration and keeping the hope alive. I feel like things are changing for you big time moving forward. While certain aspects of your day-to-day -day routine or life are going to stay the same. And I feel like you're going to be very, very fulfilled. That's coming through quite clearly, very fulfilled. But there's a strategy in the next 48 that's being highlighted in regards to holding back at times, trusting your intuition, again, that motivation, what you create and develop, um, when you get things done once again. Um, but I feel like for some drawn to the reading, there is a focus on how your spirituality is inevitably making you appear a bit creepy to others. I mean, I know how that is for me and Spirit's saying that's going to sort of for a lot look different from one Leo to the next. Does that make sense? Because not everybody's spiritually connected in the same manner or to the same extent. Um, but for the majority of the next 48, you're feeling quite grounded. Your Taurus and Aquarius placements within your chart will take a highlight. Don't be surprised if you are guided to watch one, if not both uh, of those signs for tarot readings. Um, or to think about how you embody those characteristics. Um, let's pull, um, I want to pull a Moonology card. No, actually, let's pull one or two um, Kipper cards for Leo. I'm hearing hanging out. There might be a casual sort of get together with one of not multiple people in the next 40, or you just find the inclination or just end up hanging out uh, in your hermit mode at home or just in general. They're saying go for a walk, all right? If Mother Nature allows it, of course, if it's possible. But I do feel like you are uh, needing to uh, embrace the uh, connection to oneself, okay? Embrace the solitude or just that beautiful grounded energy between you and that individual or multiple people when you're uh, hanging out, okay? Um, but we got message. I feel like there's a message of importance in the next 48. You might be getting a lot of spam calls. I don't know if this came through. Oh, that might have been Sag's reading. Um, but I do feel like that is going to just simply be annoying or has been if that's the case. But I feel like you might be thinking about once again, am I going to hear from this person? Should I be hearing from this person? Should I be wanting to hear from this person? 
um, are they right for me? Um, but I do also feel like some of you are working on um, improving your connection, your relationship, or just, again, it doesn't have to have a label. But um, I do feel like someone uh, you're thinking about from the past was a thief, okay? A thief of some sort or just, they're saying a sketchball, all right? Um, somebody who you should never have even considered trusting um, all the meanwhile. I don't know why that's coming to your mind because we need to remind you that you have a better sense uh, of who and uh, who and what to, to trust at this point, right? You probably intuitively can feel out uh, when something's a scam, right? Even if it appears uh, firsthand to be slightly trustworthy or potentially uh, legit. Um, so why do you at times not trust your intuition in regards to the type of person that's gonna be right for you, okay? Um, when it comes to dating for someone, when it comes to friendships, reevaluating who to keep in your life, you're very wise and intuitive once again. Let's make sure we're trusting what we feel, okay? What we know all the meanwhile. There's more knowledge within than you give yourself credit for at times. And then I feel like people are going to begin giving you more credit for moving forward, all right? And some of your spirituality ties into that. But as I struggle a bit, there is a lot of high honor in the next 48 absorb it all right eat it up i feel like it's gonna feed your ego a bit but not in an unhealthy way i feel like you're going to feel very good about yourself by the end of the next 48 at least for the most part because people are praising you complimenting you your name is being spread for some um, whether that's your company name it could be more so your name or both but i feel like even on a casual level people are talking about you at a distance you're coming to people's minds quite often what is leo up to why are they changing so much okay they're, ch they're changing in this way maybe i should check out leo's online content okay um but let's pull some tarot from the light seers i would say pull some oracle and tarot when you feel guided to in the next 48 as spirits guiding you to okay freshen up your skill sets uh, or skill and and or gain some clarity okay or a reminder or both um, I do feel like there's thoughts of mail email it could be emailing in the next 48 catching up on work um, a lot of spam emails it just feels like people are um, messing with you at a distance okay it could be in that sense and or I feel like if you've been experiencing again a lot of spam calls text messages somebody inputted your phone number into a system or submitted it to something um, and I feel like it's maybe like leading to other spams coming in. So don't stress it, but I feel like it's kind of something you really can't do much about. Don't click on any um, unknown links, okay? Do not click on links in your text messages and your emails, period, all right? And I wanna say, for the most part on websites, um, just be smart, all right? Be strategic, the hermit. So there is naturally, even if again you are hanging out with certain people or one person in the next 48, you are very content in your alone time. I feel like we've talked about this before where you are have mastered the art of being alone and this feels good, but then this might be a moment where you're thinking about one if not multiple other people wanting to have more connecting moving forward. Spirit saying, you might just be a Leo drawn to this reading that where things are gonna be so busy career-wise, work-wise moving forward um, that you are not gonna have a lot of time for that. Um, but I do feel like Spirit's saying, if you do want to cut out time, pencil people in, you know you can, and you know you probably should, but at times you choose not to, and then you get a bit lonely. So it's about just uh, being honest with oneself and asking, um, should I be making more time for this person, these people, or connecting with people in general? It feels like you are prioritizing yourself in a beautiful um, honorable way and that's helping you glow and look good and feel good and accomplish a lot right and strut with confidence but it is important for you to feel fulfilled when it comes to connecting with people as well all right so yeah it's gonna be up to you moving forward a level of honesty my friend to oneself needing to come to be more so moving forward but I feel like in the next 48 you are truly letting go okay what doesn't work for you you could be pushed to let go of one of not multiple habits but honesty with other people. If you're on social media, I feel like this is entailing at least a little bit, if not a lot of honesty. Um, spirit's gonna be very truthful with you. So don't allow that to disturb your confidence or your overall comfort 
in that moment or those moments. The number four, if you look up that spiritual number, um, there is a message for you, four, okay? I'm not sure what that one is uh, specifically, but we ha have our energy, the sun and the two of wands. Absolutely, the next 40, there's thoughts of lack or just at times, which I feel like isn't totally unproductive um, or at all, but I feel like you're thinking about for some, I need more money that's coming in moving forward. I need uh, or desire more connecting, right? More um, souls to bond with on a very uh, core level where we have that commonality or those commonalities it, that's coming if you so choose to manifest it. There's a focus on the fact that you can manifest quite easily. So at times, why are you not? Because you get a bit complacent or content or you just fear that you're gonna manifest the wrong thing or it might be more so that you just don't know what you want fully. Um, or you don't want, the, yeah, things to change up completely, but Spirit's saying, when you're thinking about wish fulfillments, right, uh, I do feel as if you need to uh, be truthful with oneself and ask yourself, is this gonna add more chaos to my life? Is this gonna be a true wish fulfillment or not? Um, ooh, interesting with the Three of Swords behind that. Um, but I do feel like all the meanwhile, you're being viewed as a star, again, that high honor coming into play. Um, and when you're accomplishing in a very star-like manner, there may be certain levels of chaos you have to cope with, deal with, say, you're working, your spirituality comes into play, energy, noise, you name it, all right? Slip ups, um, the struggle coming to be. At times it might be that slow struggle. Does that make sense? When you're moving so slowly in a very peaceful, grounded manner, but then you struggle because of it or within it. Um, I just wanna talk to you is what I'm hearing. I just wanna know more. I feel like people are connected to your energy. This is helping you. But we barely spoke upon the overall message. The fact that as we get ready to wrap up this reading, I'm not taking that card. I do feel as if you're feeling quite strong and spirit saying as things change, as there's a lot going on, but at times feels like there's not much going on. And you think about again, what you want. Um, and spirits are reminding you that completion leads to happiness. You need to have sunny vibes moving forward as you get a ton accomplished and you reap the rewards due to it all. The best is yet to come. All right. So if this was truly helpful, sending you so much love and light, go enjoy your next 48 and I'll definitely see you next time.